Over the 20 years SmackDown has aired, there has been many different titles on the brand. However, the WWE Championship, not to get this confused with the World Heavyweight Championship, has only changed hands a total of five times on a SmackDown show. Since this has happened now, we thought it would be the perfect opportunity to take a look at five times the WWE Championship changed hands on SmackDown. So, enjoy. The first instance of the WWE Championship changing hands on a SmackDown show came back in 1999, when Vince McMahon took on Triple H. The match saw Triple H dominate the chairman and humiliate him in front of his wife Linda. Although I can't help but think to myself, <laughs> Linda probably wanted Triple H to continue punching Vince. I mean, my husband, why my husband? Your husband's a piece of trash. Yeah. But before Triple H could inflict even more damage, Stone Cold Steve Austin, out of all people, came out to Vince McMahon's aid and delivered a stunner to Triple H, which allowed Vince to pin Triple H for a three count to become the first person to win the WWE Championship on a SmackDown show. After an intense, nail-biting, 60-minute Iron Man match, Brock Lesnar just managed to do enough to beat Kurt Angle 5-4 for his WWE Championship on SmackDown back in 2003. The chemistry Lesnar and Angle had prior to Lesnar turning heel was so good. <laughs> good luck, <laughs> Both men are very competitive in nature, so it was no surprise to see them put on one hell of a match. Earlier this year, in a Facebook Q&A session, Kurt Angle talked about his Iron Man match with Brock Lesnar in 2003 being the most intense match he's wrestled physically and mentally as his sister passed away just the night before he competed in the match. When Jinder Mahal defeated Randy Orton to win his first WWE Championship title, fans were left in shock and disbelief. <laughs> this made Mahal the first person of Indian descent to win the WWE Championship. Throughout his reign as WWE Champion, Jinder Mahal was able to defend his title against the likes of Randy Orton and Shinsuke Nakamura. The modern day Mahal would go on to hold the title for 170 days before losing it to AJ Styles on the 7th of November 2017 episode of SmackDown. Not even the Singh brothers could stop AJ. After holding the WWE Championship for an incredible 371 days, making him tied 8th for the longest reign in WWE Championship history, alongside Randy Savage, oh, yeah! AJ Styles' reign as WWE Champion finally came to an end after Daniel Bryan defeated him on the November 13th, 2018 episode of SmackDown. After using AJ Styles' weakness, the low blow. I really hope AJ wasn't planning to have any more kids. As for Daniel Bryan, his title win on SmackDown gave rise to the new Daniel Bryan, a heel persona who basically hated meat eaters Shame. and people who drive SUVs. What kind of car do you drive? I drive an SUV. Why would you need to ride in an SUV? Well, as you know, I have a family, I have a wife, I have two children. Ignorant! Ignorant! On the Fox Smackdown debut episode, Kofi Kingston 
put his WWE Championship on the line against Brock Lesnar. But what a big mistake that turned out to be. It is what it is. After Kofi's incredible 11 year journey, which led to him capturing a world title, he lost his WWE Championship in just 9 seconds against Brock Lesnar. This probably didn't come as a surprise, especially considering Lesnar manhandled Kofi back in 2015 at the Beast in the East show. It's also a bit concerning how he lost the title in just 9 seconds and then just went back to throwing pancakes into the crowd as if nothing happened. Does he even care that he's lost the WWE Championship? It is what it is.